Hi everyone, this is Mel from Melamore Nursery. I have a box opening and actually this is a box opening that <clears throat> is from a company that reached out to me and I've already taken uh, this box out of another cardboard box. So, I mean, it's been really well protected. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and open this up. I've taken all the tape and everything off. Um, and many of you have seen these box openings before and uh, they reached out to me and I thought, why not? I'll see what, what the doll has to offer. And the doll company is Kara Case Baby Doll Official Store. And you can only get them, um, you can only purchase them from uh, the Amazon US uh, store. So I had to switch my Canadian store, because I live in Canada, I had to switch my Canadian store into the American store to go in and purchase this doll. Of course, then they refunded my money. And um, so let's see what it is. Okay, I know from other videos that Baby um, is pretty much in the buff and we don't want that. So I have a blanket to cover that up. So here is the instruction manual and that is Care Case. Um, at least that's how I pronounce it. Care You Case. Okay, and then on the back it has introduction, material, applications, warm tips, and after sales service on the back, like that. So I have just gone about and um, chosen some clothing, although it does come with some clothing here, but because of its dark clothing, I, which I'll get to, actually, I'll show you now. Well, I've got the box. No, you know what? Let me pull baby out and get the box out of the way. Because there's a couple of goodies that comes with this baby. Now, there's four different kinds of uh, these dolls. There's closed-eyed girls. There's closed-eyed boys. There's uh, open-eyed girls and open-eyed boys. So, <clears throat> I got a little boy, which is surprising for me because normally I, I have more girls. So it does come with a little hat. Um, there's a little white shirt, which is Velcroed back here. And it has these denim ducky overalls here, which are um, pretty dark on the inside. So I knew I didn't really want to put this on it. Plus it's all Velcro. So it's very much like a doll's kind of clothing, and I'd want to wash those anyway before I'd use them. But I'm just going to put these away with the originals until I decide what I'm going to do with this particular doll. So those are the clothes. Then it comes with um, these little toys, okay? And sorry about the crinkling. There's like carrot juice or orange juice. There's a milk bottle. And this funky shaped pacifier, which should fit into the mouth of the doll. And those are all in this plastic bag. So I'll leave those out because I'm curious to see if they actually fit into the doll's mouth. Get rid of that plastic. Okay, so I do have a blanket standing by because this little baby huh, does not have a diaper on. And let me just make sure I've got one really close by. Yeah, I do. So I've picked out a couple of outfits and I'm not sure which one I want to put on this little guy. Because um, it's supposed to be an 18 to 19 inch uh, doll, but uh, the videos I've watched from other people um, that was a really nice Ziploc bag, by the way, that they had again. Um, so let's see. Yeah, he's, he's pretty much in the buff. It's, um, I'm just feeling the silicone and it feels, um, really different. So I've got a diaper here and I'm going to get that diaper on pretty much right away, folks, because YouTube doesn't like anything um, showing. 
So I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this blanket <laughs> for a moment and cover him up. Well, somehow I get this off because actually I'm just going to do it on my lap. It's much simpler that way. Much, much simpler. So he was really well protected and I'm just going to get his diaper on. And then when I get his diaper on, I will return him. But let's put him down on the colors I've chosen for him and the blanket I've chosen for him, which are these foxes. Because it's autumn and foxes is a really good color for, for um, the season. Sorry, I lost what I was going to say there for a minute. Checking this little wee fella out. The silicone, <clears throat> because if I didn't mention before, this is a silicone little uh, boy. And the silicone is different, completely different. Uh, of course, every silicone doll I've ever had, there he is there. Um, every silicone doll I've ever had has been different. And um, this is him here. So he definitely has the pore spot at the top, okay? You can definitely see that. So if you are into rooting, and I've got some rooting supplies, so I thought I might, I don't know. Oh, that's really interesting because he does have rooted eyebrows and he's got, looks like applied eyelashes. And he's got an open mouth. Um... He's a firmer silicone for sure. He's got weensy little feet. You know, the doll itself to buy it is 300 US dollars. Um, so he's not an expensive silicone doll for uh, a doll. Um, I heard his head moves somehow. Yeah, it has some movement in the head where you can look up and whatnot. And I just want to try this soother while he's... So it does hold the soother in there. And if you were into role playing, the bottle would fit. And let's see if this milk would too. I'm not a big role player, but the milk one would fit too. And as you can see, it's magic milk. It disappears. Okay, so we know even the toys work. What I'm going to dress him in is uh, a onesie, because I want a onesie on him. And some knits. So I'm going to put him in this set, which is knits. It looks the same as the one that I put little Declan in and Ruby Blue in. And then this one's gonna have some knits on him too. And I'm doing that because I wanna see how his silicone is with clothing. And he's gonna have socks and these slippers. And because he's a baldy, I've got a number of hats on standby. Probably the foxes actually. Probably the foxes, but if those don't fit, then I have a plain white one. But let's check him out. So I would say he's he's definitely reminiscent of the older, like silicone dolls. Um, lots of seam lines everywhere. Um, so when the company asked me to do this, I said to them that, yeah, like I can see Okay, so he definitely has, I don't know if you guys can pick it up, but he's got seam lines all along here and here. Um, he's got seam lines across his head, and he's got a big, big pore spot there, like almost the size of my thumb. And like that. So, um, 
like I said, you know, I might use him to root him and then do something with him, which will be a surprise later on on my channel. Um, or I don't know. Like right now, I just wanted to um, see what see what the company was about. His toes are all together. He's got weensy little feet. I mean, I don't even think the slippers that I chose for him, which are these slippers here, I don't even think they go to half. You see that? So he's he's tiny. Like I could put him in a sleeper instead of that outfit, which I might actually. But I mean, is that a preemie? It's, yeah, this is a preemie little onesie here and it's got dogs on it. Let's see if I've got a little preemie undershirt. So this is a preemie onesie here. No, oh, that's newborn. Didn't I bring a preemie one down? Well, let's get him into this one here. This one is Amazon preemie. Okay, so we'll get him in this one. I want this little guy to be wearing the right kind of stuff. Of course, he has no hair, so I can go right over the head. Um, he's not very heavy. Like, he's about... He's about six or seven pounds. Um, like I said, he's about 18 and a half inches long, 19 inches long. Uh, they don't put the weight in the description, and I'm only guessing at the weight based on what I know from my other dolls. I, as most of you know, I have quite a few other dolls. So, that, that preemie onesie fits him pretty well. Pretty well. And I chose open-eyed boy because I don't have an open-eyed boy. And let me just see if you guys are getting him. So, he, um, he doesn't have the, like, he is squishy. And his hands are like, they almost feel like they've been coated with baby powder. You know what I'm saying? But you, you do see that they squish. Um, he's definitely silicone, but he's not used to the silicone I'm used to. Of course, I have um, I have a variety of, of silicone dolls. I mean, um, I have Sabrina, I have Clara, I have uh, Mackenzie, and I have Rain. So, but I didn't have a little boy and I only have one other open eyed silicone doll and that is Clara. And he's got beautiful brown eyes, but I can't get over that. He's got rooted eyebrows, which is beautiful. So now, which I do have two sleepers for him if I wanted to go that route. I have this sleeper. Do I want to, I kind of want to put him in this outfit. I kind of want to, which means I'm going to have to put socks on him. Keep his little feet warm, but he won't have any booties. He'll just have socks, which is okay. So I hope everybody's doing well. <clears throat> um, this came rather fast. Well, fast enough. I mean, um, to be honest, I kind of... in in. It was just over a week. I, I've had so much going on that I I honestly forgot all about this doll. <laughs> and so uh, when it showed up at my house today, I was kind of surprised. Um, and I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting this. So um, let's get his little overalls on. These fit him really well. This, this set came in that box that I got. Uh, on. I'd ordered three... Um, three lots of clothes from a lady on eBay and she threw in a bunch of extra stuff. So let's see how long his arms are. He's easy to dress. Um, of course, I don't recommend putting anything tight on a silicone. Um, this doll definitely like, he doesn't have the bendability factor. Do you know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't have this, this doll would be definitely a child's doll. I mean, you could give this doll to a child. I mean, apart from, you know, uh, you know, once you gave them the basic rules, but, um, 
of, you know, not slamming it against things, but, um, the knit set looks really good on him. And I do want to put a hat for sure. Now I can also put this hat and just have the strings come down. Let's try this one because I kind of like the fact that it has the little ear flaps on it. And it looks really wintry and cozy. Especially since I don't have any slippers for him being that he's so tiny. So that's him there, folks. Let me just fix his hat. So I'll leave the information, or at least, you know, he looks like, he looks like he's ready to go out and play. There he is there. Um, like I said, uh, you know, for, for a silicone doll, um, $300 is super cheap. Super cheap for a silicone doll. Um, and he's got, you know, beautiful, he is beautiful. Um, personally, I wish he was a little bit darker. Uh, there are other dolls that have darker skin. I wish he was a little bit more floppier, but then again, you're working with a budget of $300. So, uh, us dollars. So, I mean, you just simply can't find a silicone for that price, not a full bodied silicone. So anyway, that is him there. Uh, if you have a name suggestion for this little guy, please leave it in the comments below. I want his little eyebrows to show. That's him there um, in his little fox blanket. In his little knitted outfit. And let's just get, oh, as I'm tossing them all over the place. Let him get him into the screen for you all. There he is there. Okay, folks, that is the little guy that I got in the mail today from Care from Care You Case uh, Doll Company. Um, and uh, they can be found in Amazon US. That's where I was directed to go get him. Um, and like I said, his price point is 300 US dollars. So, okay, folks, have a great day. I hope you all stay well and, um, and you're doing uh, happy, fun, joyful things and that your day is beautiful. I will see you next time. Bye for now.